Thursday night NFL football in prime, and there is a public side in this game. I'm going to give you that public consensus information, and more importantly, I'm going to let you know if we should fade it or play it. That free play coming up in just a moment. Hi, this is Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com, right back here on Wager Talk TV, breaking down Thursday night NFL action here for week five on prime, 815 Eastern, Falcons at the Bucks, and let's get right to it. Ding, ding, half a ding, semi-red flag alert. Tampa Bay Bucks are a public dog. Not a huge public dog, but definitely some public sentiment towards the Buccaneers here early in the week as I record this video. Of course, I do my official Fade the Public video each and every weekend here on the channel. This is probably a game that wouldn't have made the cut, but I maybe would have used Tampa as an additional public lean. But whenever the public is leaning towards an underdog, and many of the uh, consensus that I look at has the public picking Tampa to win outright. Now, they're just a one and a half point dog, so it's not like that's a huge upset. But we are getting some line value because of it. The look-ahead line a week ago, even the opener at some spots, was as high as minus three. Falcons are now just minus one and a half. That is a big difference because about nine to ten percent of the time, a home favorite like Atlanta is going to win by exactly three points. So I do think the public consensus on Tampa and also the fact that Tampa looked really good last week upsetting the Eagles has brought this line lower. So yes, this is a spot where I would look to fade the public this Thursday night. And there's a few other reasons why as well. First of all, in general, Thursday night football, usually the advantage goes to the home team because of the travel situation, a little less practice time and prep because the road team loses that Wednesday due to travel. Now, I know Tampa to Atlanta is not a huge trip, but Tampa also had an emotional win last week at home. Tom Brady in the booth for Fox, coming off the hurricane that went right through there, took care of business with the Eagles. Now they have to travel and play with just three days off in between. I think this could be that letdown spot. Now, look, I'm well aware that Atlanta got hit pretty hard by the storm as well. I think it was the hardest hurricane to hit the state of Georgia since the 1800s. So not a good situation for either team. But I think the letdown spot is more likely for Philly this week um, because of the travel. And um, Falcons also took care of business at home last week against New Orleans. In fact, Atlanta's playing pretty good football. Um, you recall I mentioned fading the public in week two. The public was heavy on the Eagles. Uh, that was the second most public consensus play back in week two. And the Falcons, of course, won outright as nearly a six-point dog in that Monday night football game. And there's really nothing misleading about what they've done here. They've gone two and one straight up their last three. They did lose that opener to Pittsburgh, but they had a three-nothing turnover deficit. They've had only two turnovers total in their other three games. But looking at the statistics, you could actually make a case Atlanta's the better overall, more balanced team this season when you factor in opponents played. Uh, Falcons rush for 4.6 yards per carry. They throw for almost 7 yards per pass, averaging almost 6 yards per play. But the defensive numbers are very impressive, giving up just 4.9 yards per play this season, including just 6 yards per pass against teams that average nearly 7.1 Tampa Bay, meanwhile, is averaging just 6.9. Now, the Bucks passing defense has also been strong, allowing just 5.6 yards per pass. But the run defense is suspect. And I think the one weakness between these two teams is the Tampa Bay run defense, which has given up 5 yards a carry over 130 yards per game. And Bajon Robinson was limited on the practice report this week. I do expect him to go. But speaking of injuries, the Tampa Bay injury report is a mile long. Most of those guys are going to play, but very little practice for them this week. And once again, on this quick three-day turnaround with travel, not ideal to have a huge injury report like Tampa does. I think this is a good setup for the Atlanta Falcons. And because the public is leaning towards Tampa, we're getting adjusted line value. Look, headline was minus three, but now it's just minus one and a half. Play the Falcons here on Thursday night if you're looking at this game between the Bucks and Falcons. That would be my recommendation as I think we get a favorable matchup and some line value. Atlanta, by the way, 3-1 and one against Todd Boyles the last two years since he took over at Tampa. Don't forget, my strongest best bets are reserved for my personal clients. You know, I do a ton of these free play videos. These are games I'm looking at. Sometimes they make the cut. Most of the time they don't because I'm very selective. I'll do maybe 7 to 10 free play videos I usually have four to five best bets on the weekend. In fact, this past week, we had six best bets in college and pro football combined, and I went five and one against the spread. Should be no surprise. We were 10 and four the two weeks before that. In fact, coming into this season, I was number one the last two years combined in ATS profit for both college and pro football combined. And guess what? As we head into this week, I'm number one again this season, off to a 20 and 11 start on client plays at wagertalk.com. So yes, I give you free plays, free opinions. These are maybe like 1% leans in the videos. Sometimes I give you actual best bets. My top 25 college football video and my NFL fade the public video each weekend has a ton of games, and many of those do make my best bet card. But once again, if you're enjoying the free play videos, 
thumbs up like. But if you're serious about taking the next step and making some money consistently each and every day, I highly recommend my direct subscription on my page. And if you want to try it out, this is the week to do it as I have a seven-day sampler for just 77. Lucky sevens, seven-day sampler for 77. That's just $11 a day, just over $5 a play. You know, everyone gets excited about the Tuesday $5 best bet. Get everything for the next seven days and nights for about $5 a play. I average between one to three games a day for all sports. Now, if you've been with me before, then you're probably already on a longer-term subscription. If not, shame on you. I've made this offer the last three weeks, and we've been crushing it. 15 and 5, 75% in football alone the last three weeks. 31 and 13 baseball run entering the postseason, which starts this week. NBA starts in a couple weeks. I'm number one all-time history of wager talk in Units 1 in the NBA, and number two all-time in college and pro basketball Units 1 combined. So yeah, the one-year all-access is still available with a special instant $800 discount, but you got to use promo code SM365. That gets my all-sports all-access down to just $3 a day, a dollar a play for every football, baseball, basketball, college, and pro that you could have with that instant $800 discount when you use promo code SM365. I keep bringing it back each week. I'm not going to rest till seriously every single one of you is on board long term because that's how you take a true investment approach and make money with sports betting. Treat it as an investment, set it and forget it. It takes five minutes a day to get my plays, put them in, and cash along all my other hundreds, if not thousands, of clients that follow me. I've been doing this now for 29 straight years as a full time professional, and you can get my best bets, the exact same plays I'm using every day at wagertalk.com. Hey, get there quicker with shortcut wt.buzz slash sm. Don't forget about the free plays. I do these free play videos, but I post free plays throughout the week on my page as well with written analysis at wagertalk.com. Check out my daily free plays. And while you're there, you don't have to memorize the promos or the specials. We also have a 30-day football sampler for just $199. If you want just football, 30 days college and pro for $199 with promo code FBALL30. All the promo codes, all the special offers, and the daily free play is on my page right now. Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. Get there quicker once again, wt.buzz slash sm. Hey, comment below. I read all the comments. I reply back. I love the interaction. Let me know your thoughts here on Thursday Night Football. Bucks, Falcons, are either of these teams for real? Are they both playoff caliber teams? Who do you like this week? And what other games are you looking at in the NFL as well? Let's learn and earn and win together here on Wager Talk TV. Thumbs up, like if you're appreciating these free play videos. Thumbs up, like takes one second. Boom, you did it. Thank you. And don't forget, when you subscribe, click that subscribe. Make sure you click that bell as well so you get instant alerts when these free play videos go up through the week. And also in my college football top 25 and NFL fade the public videos are ready for this weekend. Click that bell when you subscribe here on Wager Talk TV. Hey, if you want more free information, check me out on X and Instagram at Steve Merrill, two R's, one L, at Steve Merrill on X and Instagram. And stay tuned here to Wager Talk TV for some more great free content coming up next. I also have a Thursday night college football free play, Sam Houston, UTEP. Yuck! Hey, it's still a national TV game Thursday night. Sam Houston State UTEP free play video here on Wager Talk TV as well. So stay tuned. Great content coming up next.